the footy season is fast approaching and we're giving one lucky member the chance to win the golden ticket. That's flights, accommodation and tickets for two people to six interstate games in 2016. To join the Tigers on tour, show your commitment in 2016 and become a Richmond member today. Yes, I was uh, born and raised at a small Aboriginal community called Framlingham in southwest Victoria. So um, I'm a descendant from the Chaparong people of the Gunijamara Nation, um, called the, otherwise known as the Fighting Gunijamara. So my father still uh, resides, my mother still resides on, on Framlingham, and he yeah, got a large extended family. And lucky enough, in it, um, a couple of years back, to take the Richmond Football Club uh, to the family in my home community and show them about. And, for the first time that any sporting club has come to a discreet Aboriginal community in Victoria. So uh, we even got Chaka and a number of the players dancing and some of my little nephews. So yeah, it was a great cultural immersion day and something that you know, the community was extremely grateful for and uh, something that the club does extremely well. Football has been the vehicle for me to uh, have opportunity in, in my career, um, not only just for my playing career in, in the VFL and, um, and coaching career, but also uh, most recently around AFL Victoria as an Indigenous Programs Manager there and, and leading a pretty strong piece around uh, engagement of the Aboriginal community in football in general. Um, right from grassroots to the elite um, talent pathways. When I started in my role at AFL Victoria, there was only previously 14 Indigenous boys playing AFL uh, football being drafted out of the TAC Cup system. In the last four years, we've had nearly seven Aboriginal boys drafted on an AFL list, and Nathan Drummond, Daniel Rioli have come through those pathways. The Laguntas program is a, uh, a major project of the AFL to provide opportunities for Aboriginal talented athletes, you know, boys from 16, 18s, to enter the talent pathways and it was facilitated by the Richmond Footy Club and KGI. And KGI offers to me uh, just a, an amazing platform. It's something that you know, has got strong foundations and, and strong connection to the Aboriginal communities now throughout Victoria and even so nationally. And it really comes from a position of strength. You know, it isn't a deficit type of model where it's a, a mad, bad and sad type of story. It's about excellence. It's about Aboriginal people excelling in life and not only in the sporting arena, but certainly off-field around employment. Um, we have Aboriginal businesses hosted here. Um, we've got the MITS Melbourne Indigenous Transition School based here, transitioning children into private school opportunities. So uh, it's important that KGI remain a strong, safe place for Aboriginal community to come um, in, into a sporting club and to a football club. Um, there's a number of challenges out there. We know the statistics uh, around Aboriginal health and um, schooling and, and, and uh, even social justice issues out there. So we we're in a strong position to tackle some of those things. You know, we're sort of footsteps away from the MCG, uh, one of the best sporting presets in the world. You know, this is a gateway to that um, to see Aboriginal people compete and, and excel on the, on the you know, highest levels. You know, in terms of AFL football is really empowering for our community. The Richmond Footy Club has led this Indigenous space now for quite some time. Um, you look at introducing the Indigenous round jumpers you know, 10 years ago, and now every club's doing it. So we've been really forthright, we've got to elevate uh, RAP status, which is the only sporting club in Australia to actually have that. So we want to continue to push the boundaries. You know, we want to be an advocate for the industry, we want to be a leader. Um, that means diversity of our playing list, diversity of our staffing. Um, we'd love to see you know, diversity of our um, uh, coaching groups as well. Um, but more broadly, I think that um, we want to explore all those opportunities to ensure that Aboriginal people reach their full potential in a major sporting organisation. And it really shows me that, um, you know, that Richmond Footy Clubs really can do bold things and you can see the enormous benefits that it has for the Indigenous communities across Australia. But, you know, it's, it's one of those positive things you, you've got to get on board of and, and be excited about.